Hey everyone, thanks for joining us on another Ludicrous Speed video. I'm on the floor of my garage today because I wanted to share with you an issue that cropped up this week on my way to work. This is Electric Blue. She is now almost two years old and she has driven almost 40,000 kilometers. On Tuesday, which is three days ago, on my way to work, I noticed a very high-pitched squeal as I came to a stop at every traffic light. I thought to myself, surely that's not the brake pads. I mean, Tesla is known for its regenerative braking, uh, which means that the brake pads shouldn't wear out. I panicked a bit, um, and the first thing I did was I booked a service to Tesla because it's due for a service at 40,000 kilometers. I also checked online on a few forums, asked a few people on my uh, Tesla Facebook group, and they all said that uh, it was the discs of the brakes that probably had a bit of uh, debris or sand or a rock maybe stuck in it, which was causing a high-pitched squeal every time I broke or I braked. So I thought, okay, if that's the case, then I should be able to dislodge it myself if I just apply a bit of friction to it. Now, because the Tesla is, um, is so efficient with braking, uh, because it's got regenerative braking, um, we don't often have to brake that hard. So a few people recommended that I drive really quickly um, and then brake really hard to try and dislodge any debris. So I've got um, my little Tesla Model S car here. It's a representative of my big car. So what I did was basically find a patch of road that was safe. Uh, I wasn't going to kill anybody or anything. I could go as fast as I like within the speed limit and then brake really quickly, which I don't often do, I guess, in a Tesla because it's got regenerative braking. So just to demonstrate, this is what happened. Found a bit of road, drove really quickly, and then just stop like that, just really hard. Not quite ABS territory, but hard enough to hopefully dislodge that bit of debris. And sure enough, I did that, and the high-pitched squealing is no longer present. So there's a little quick fix. If you um, are experiencing high-pitched squealing uh, at the end range of your braking coming to a stop, and I recommend doing that. Um, makes sense quickly, speed up, and then brake really hard, and that should dislodge any debris or stones or sand, or whatever is causing the metal to grind and cause that high-pitched squealing. So there you have it guys, my little quick fix on high-pitched squealing. Hope it's a lovely day where you are. It's a lovely autumn day here in Sydney on Good Friday. It's a long weekend. It's a fantastic weekend. And uh, wherever you are in this world, have a great day, and as always, happy charging. Hey, thanks for watching, and thank you for helping us to bring the electric vehicle revolution to Australia. If you've enjoyed our videos, please take a moment to hit subscribe. We would really appreciate it. If you're close to buying a brand new Tesla, then lucky you. Use one of our promo codes on screen to unlock special goodies from Tesla. Happy charging!